Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh putain. Hello everyone, today I will summarize a movie released in 2000 with Leonardo DiCaprio as the main character. This movie tells the story of a young backpacker named Richard who found a beautiful island with a lagoon surrounded by cliffs and filled with cannabis plants. This island is inhabited by a backpacker community that lives and keeps the secret of the place, but the heavenly life at the island slowly turns into hell because one of them leaks the secret of the island. So how does the story go? Here is the beach. The film starts by showing the scene of a young man named Richard, a citizen of America who is having a holiday trip to Thailand. He starts his adventure by drinking a snake's blood in Bangkok and then rents a cheap inn to live in. He chooses the place not because he doesn't have any money but because he wants a new atmosphere that can't be acquired in his origin country. There is a young couple who are also in their vacation live next to his room. Thank you. At night when he was daydreaming he is surprised by a shout of a man from the hall of the inn, and not long after the man greets Richard through the vent and later out the name of the man is known to be Daffy. It's been nice knowing while sharing a slice of marijuana, this man tells the story of a beautiful island with a lagoon surrounded by cliffs that have crystal clear water and a vast garden filled with cannabis plants. But this island is very secretive and only a few people know about it, but that night Richard thought that the man is stressed so he made up a story. Fucked in the head, right? The next day when Richard goes back to his room he finds a piece of paper slipped under his door and after he opens it he finds a map showing the location of the island the man was talking about at night before. Then he visited Daffy's room and finds out that Daffy has committed suicide. Not like it does in the movies. Since he likes to do adventure and he is curious about the truth of the island mentioned last night, he decides to invite the neighbor next to his room to seek the truth of the existence of the island through the clue of the map. The couple is Etienne and Francoise who were from France. They are also interested in Richard's invitation and they start their journey to find the secret island the next day. Trust me, it's a very good deal. When they arrived on an island that became the destination of the tourists, Etienne tells them that no boat wants to take them to the island, therefore they decide to stay the night and swim the next day. We can swim, can't you Richard? Of course I can swim. When Richard was about to get in his room he realized that he has lost his key, but fortunately he was invited by other tourists to join them, drinking beer and sharing marijuana. You're probably better off without her anyway. They then tell a story of a beautiful island that is kept as a secret, but it seems like they only know a little detail about it and Richard only smiled hearing those stories, not long after that someone delivers Richard's key room. Hey you, I got your key! The next day Richard makes a copy of the map he owns and places it under the door of his new friend, later on this map will be the source of the problem. Richard and his two friends continue their trip until they arrive at the border of the island that can be visited by boat, where they stare at their destination because the distance is quite far for them to reach by swimming, and however after discussing it they decide to give it a try. Thinking miles, not kilometers. Okay, so In the middle of their trip Etienne tells them that he saw a shark's fin and it makes Richard panicked. Well, to be honest, Etienne, I'd rather you hadn't told me. And not long after that Francoise went missing and that makes Richard and Etienne panic. But turns out it was just a joke played by the couple to prank Richard. Oh, fuck off! After going through a tiring struggle they finally arrived at their destination, but the tiredness they felt was relieved by the view of the vast cannabis fields and they looked very happy. <laughs> oh no, this is what I call a lot. Wow. But their happiness didn't last long because Richard finds someone is sleeping with a gun in his hand, they then decide to hide between the cannabis plants while crawling. After the thrilling moment they finally succeeded in escaping and continue their trip by walking along the river. 
but their steps stopped because the end of this river turned out to be a fairly high waterfall. Because they think they hit a dead end Richard and Etienne also blame each other, but when they were fighting suddenly Francoise decided to jump down. Francoise made it to the bottom safely and immediately ordered the two men to follow him. When they arrived at the bottom they are happy because they made it through the high waterfall, and this action was applauded by a man who had been standing on the riverbank. Then this man invites them to follow him. In the middle of the trip, Richard saw a settlement filled with a group of adventurers who decided to live on this island. Then they are introduced to the leader of this group, named Sal. He tells them that the map Richard brought was made by Daffy, one of the founders of this group that turns to be stressed. Sal then asks if any other people know about this map, Richard and his friends say no, although Richard was lying, and Sal finally burns the map so that there are no other people who will find out the existence of the island. Then they take Richard and his friends to a beautiful place, the place is the same as what Daffy had told him with a lagoon surrounded by the cliff with white sand and crystal water, they look amazed and happy with the beauty of the place. Sal then takes them to walk around while telling the story that after they found this place they built a community and built this place together, and to survive they go to town once in a while to sell the cannabis they plant. Sal then added that they agreed with the cannabis farmer next to them not to budge each other and added some people to the island to preserve it. Day by day, they live on the island while hunting for fish, playing and having fun and they have also been considered part of this group. At night they are marked on their bodies and also fly lanterns bearing the names of the three of them as a sign of their acceptance into this community. Richard liked Francoise since they first met, until one night Francoise asked Richard to go to the beach and said that she likes Richard even though she already has a boyfriend, Etienne. After hearing the confession they have fun together while swimming. The scene changes to a day where Etienne gets mad at Richard because he finds out about Richard's relationship with Francoise, but Etienne gives up on his relationship with Francoise as long as she is happy. The scene moves again to the time where the residents here are waiting for the rain to stop on the beach to look for fish, but Richard is impatient to wait so he swims to find fish alone. Shortly afterward his friends shouted at Richard to tell him that there is a shark near Richard, Richard panicked and tries to swim to the beach. But because he realized that he would not be able to run away from the sharks, Richard decides to fight him and he succeeded in killing the shark. This event makes the other members of the group respect Richard even more. Then Sal told them that their food supply is running low and decides that someone has to go to town to shop, Sal then appointed Richard to do it, Richard agreed to do it as long as Sal agreed to accompany him. And 20 condoms. Make it 40 condoms. And a bottle of vodka. Toothpaste and, and a toothbrush, yeah? Right? <clears throat> After arriving in the city Richard understands why the island is kept secret. Because if people knew about it, it is likely that many people will visit it and it might damage the island. When Sal and Richard are drinking, suddenly Richard was approached by two of his friends that appeared at the beginning of the film, then they said that they will try to visit the island. Because of this Sal asked Richard about his friends but Sal still forgives Richard because he doubts that the person will be desperate to find the secret island. After buying everything they need to buy finally Sal and Richard go back to the island. At night, Francoise asked Richard about what they had been through in the city, because according to what she heard, Sal secretly liked Richard, but Richard lied and said nothing had happened. Then the life on the island goes on like usual. When things looked normal, they were suddenly shocked by the news of a shark attack that hit Christo and Sten, Sten died on the spot while Christo was taken to the settlement. Because the injury is quite serious Christo is suggested to be brought to the hospital, but Sal does not agree and chooses to bring Christo to the middle of the forest and let him die slowly. FUCKING BASTARDS! The incident of Christo and Sten was immediately forgotten, they all returned to their usual activities, but this did not last long because Richard's friend who met in the city was seen on the opposite beach holding a map. Sal was angry and tasked Richard to take the map and forbid him from returning to the settlement before he succeeded. At night when Richard was on guard Francoise approaches him she was angry knowing that Richard and Sal slept together while they were in the city. 
Long story short, Richard's friends arrived on the island and they are happy because they find a large marijuana field, but they are not as lucky as Richard because they get caught by farmers and get killed one by one. Seeing this Richard runs to the settlement and immediately goes to Francoise and asks her to get out of the island because he cannot stand the selfishness of the people there. Then they go to see Etienne who is accompanying Christo in the forest and ask him to go together with them. But since it is impossible to bring Christo to the city, Richard decides to kill Christo to lessen his suffering. When he is about to leave the island, Richard gets hit in the back by a marijuana farmer and they bring them back to the settlement. Then the farmers gather all the residents angrily because they find a map of one of Richard's friends who was killed, and he also ordered the residents to leave the island because they have broken the agreement not to violate the rule again. But Sal refused to leave the island because she feels like she had built this settlement and blamed Richard for copying the map. Seeing that the leader of the farmers gives Sal the option to shoot Richard. If Richard gets shot then Sal and the others are allowed to stay, otherwise they have to leave the island. But when Sal pulls the trigger of the gun it turns out that there is no release which means that they have to leave the island. They can take it. <laughs> Scene shifts to Richard where he returns to his old activities, and when he opens the email he finds an email from Francoise sending him photos of when they were having fun together, and the film is over. For additional information, the island in this film is called Maybay Island, and thanks to the film starring Leonardo DiCaprio the island has become a busy tourist destination.